Just go, shall we? No, it was there. It was. Why won't everyone believe me? Archie! Danielle, look. Either you go or we'll throw you out. He's lying. You can't believe him. He's lying. He's fooled all of you. Christmas. Susie Brandon, he did that, OK? Him and Susie paid her off. Look, Peggy, she sent you a card, OK? I saw it. I saw it. He's lying to you now. He was always lying to you. I'm the only one telling the truth. Of course you are, love. Someone, get her out of here, will you, Phil? Get her out. He okay. was there. He was there. Someone must have it. Someone must have it. Look, you're my mother. She's my mother. You are. You are. Please, you're my you're mother. You're wrong. You are wrong. Get out. Please, please, you're my mother. Out. Out. All right, speech. Okay. Now, traditionally, it's the best man who makes the most <clears throat> amusing and witty speech at a wedding. And I'm making, and I'm making sure that none of you are disappointed today. Hooray! In time on a tradition, I'm going to do my best to give Archie here the most uncomfortable five minutes of his life. <laughs> For the record, the most uncomfortable five minutes of Peggy's life will be coming later on, courtesy of Archie. <laughs> Archibald Lionel Mitchell, as I'm sure he doesn't want to be known... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, can I interrupt you, Billy? I, I feel I've just got to say something about what's happened. Um, the girl... Uh, some of you may know her. She's a, a troubled girl, disturbed girl, and she somehow got it into her head that this family's against her. And uh, Ronnie and I, we've well, we've tried to help, but so I, I just want to apologise and hope that this doesn't take away from your enjoyment of this wonderful day. Right then. Ta -da! Not now, Ian. Um. I'd like to say something. <clears throat> Feel free. Earlier, my dad asked me to say a few words, and and I said no. I said no because well, because I was upset. I've been upset for a long time, for years, in fact, <laughs> about things, well, things that happened between us, things that are said and gone. And maybe, or maybe, you know, I was wrong. Because all I know is that you've changed. And you are really making Peggy very happy. <laughs> so I would like to say I'm sorry. I am really sorry, Dad. Oh. <laughs> uh, a toast to my dad. Oh, 